Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Keanu Reeves and his Empress. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, so let's just get, we're doing things a little differently today. We're going to get nine cards spread here with how things are going with him right now. Wow, he's showing up as the Emperor. So he's really done his self-love here with the Page of Cups in reverse. Let's look at this for a second. This is being emotionally vulnerable, very in touch with the emotions for not only himself, but for others. And I feel like he's really stepping into his power and he has been for some time now. I feel like he's ready for a new passionate beginning here. Uh, let's just see what we get. Yeah, there may be a competition uh, for who he's with right now. There may be boundaries that are put in place here and things are kind of turning around from um, a poverty mindset to things going more positive in his life whether it's money financially or in love or in other areas of his life let's have a look here yeah something is stalled here something's kind of delayed something that he may want to invest in here oh a blessing Wanting to invest in somebody he sees as a blessing possibly here. He may be getting blessings, a uh, passionate new beginning. Um, now with the Ace of Wands, this could be having to do with something that impacts his family or progresses, maybe that he initiates. This is something that's creative. Maybe he bursts something new for online. I saw that he was doing shorts, so maybe it has something to do with that online. And a short is just a, a short video, um, a minute or less kind of, or three minutes or less kind of thing. And I feel like he's, he's using the social media to keep things going good for his bank account. Now, let's see here. There's competition when it comes to possibly a new passionate beginning. Maybe that videos that he's doing online. Maybe with other celebrities that are going through here. Let's have a look at what is after Tarot here. Let's look at what's coming in for after Tarot. So being emotionally vulnerable here yeah maybe some anxiety has subsided um, maybe getting help with somebody help cutting him away from feeling stuck or trapped in something yeah he may be having issues with manifesting right now there seems to be something that's blocked I want to say and the magician in reverse I mean that's that's kind of like cheating energy or insecurity maybe even romantic illusions here what's this new passionate beginning hmm yeah he's not available right now so he may be with somebody right now living with them so he's not really available for a new love opportunity here what is this yeah uh, kind of denying that ace of wands a gift here from spirit um, possibly there's a competition and he may be trying to say to whoever this is that he's taken what's the boundaries yeah he's got his boundaries up about oh about cheating okay Huh. Okay. So when it comes to cheating, he doesn't, he won't have that in his life. He's, his boundaries are quite strong when it comes to that. There's cheating here as well. 
maybe trying to tell somebody that he doesn't do that or that he's taken there's competition maybe to try to end this whatever this is with someone else and he just has his boundaries up here what is this something's going good for him right now positive what's this positive five of pentacles in reverse this is coming out of something Ah, okay. Is Empress maybe codependent or he's having codependency issues here? What is this stalled here with the Eight of Wands? Oh, he's showing up again as being stuck here. Maybe stuck on some type of codependency. Maybe addictions could be just not being able to really... Well, it depends... It, Codependency can be that you're depending on someone else to make you happy or depending on someone else to um, engage with you at all times. It's like you can't be on your own because when you do, you, you just start thinking about things that you may not want to think about. What is the seven? Yeah, there's a tower here about what is wanting to invest here. This is all an upheaval things are all going to come crashing down because he's not going the right road here he's not taking spirits advice about something he may have rejecting he may be rejecting an empress here someone else what's this ace of cups yeah, he may be pouring out that and he's not wanting to miss this opportunity now that everything's fallen. Hmm. Let's look at what we have for his energy and we'll look at his person's energy. His person is going to be the one he ends up marrying. What do we have for his energy right now? That one wants to show up. Well, he knows he deserves love, that he is lovable. lovable. He might be very loving in different ways. He may like his own time as well. Let's have a look here what we got. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Wants to be able to have that intellect with somebody, not just the physical wants honesty too. He wants to be able to express his love and give some romantic gestures to the person he's with. He likes romance. He likes to fine dine. He may be healing family issues, maybe with people in his family, siblings, or possibly just mom and dad, maybe grandparents. Cousins. Could be just friends too that maybe having an argument with or something. Let's see with her. What is she doing? Her is, is, yeah, she's calling him in. She may be calling him in right now. Getting to know each other. Definitely wants to be able to have that intellect conversation. Wow, this is a new love. This is not somebody he's been with before. Let go of control issues. So this person may be trying to control the narrative of how this goes down. And making an effort when this new love comes in, not to try to control it, but definitely make an effort towards it. And controlling and making an effort are two different things. What does it say? Allow the situation to unfold naturally, and making an effort is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So somebody wasn't following some type of guidance here, trying to control what was going to happen, and possibly that could be this here, with the Empress in reverse. I feel like Spirit stepped in and said, hey, you know, you're investing in the wrong person. Don't miss this opportunity. What's the combined energy? Ah, they have to learn to trust one another. 
And that may be one of the hardest things for both of them to do, possibly have been hurt before. Let's have a look at what intentions we have. What about Keanu? What is his... Yeah, he's healing from a broken heart, possibly uh, if there is a breakup here. Let's see. Yeah, he may be in a karmic relationship right now where there's triggers and a little bit of resentment or lessons that need to be learned here. Give me one more. Thank you. Lightning, sudden change, some shocking news, an epiphany and upheaval, transformation. There's that tower right there. There's that lightning. The tower is being struck down. So what about his person? Looking at his photos, well, he's all over online and uh, in movies and all that. So maybe watching, looking at the memories of him when he first started his career. Boat, receiving what you need, progress, arriving, moving on, and closure ideas or issues. So maybe trying to move on from Keanu or the thought of controlling this, just letting it go and be. Let's see, the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation. So something happens here where there's a shocking something that happens and somebody is hearing about it as well. What's their combined energy? Hmm. Something is not enough here. There may be some self-sabotage with the person he's with. There may be jealousy. Maybe somebody steps out or some lack of confidence here or some type of frustration when it comes to this relationship whether it's the one he's in now or the one he's meant to be in. Let's have a look at what lessons has Keanu learned here? What are the lessons he needs to learn or has learned here? Okay, any other lessons that he needs to learn or has learned? Okay, so he's, he's got a few here. Let's see, relationship patterns. So there may be somebody that he's noticing certain patterns in their relationship or learning about himself, maybe what he's contributing that are patterns that he needs to let go of. We have listen to your heart. Maybe he's not following his heart of where he needs to go and listening to, to hear what his loving heart has to say. And then we have like attracts like, which is being, if you want love, be more loving, right? So I feel like he's kind of lying to himself about who he might be with, that the, he needs to have the truth about who he is and what he wants. And this may, may be a settling. He might be settling for somebody here. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have fundamental needs and need to take a break. So he may be going on holidays or needing to go on holidays, taking a break from something. Now, when it comes to work, work is work, but that's not all there is when it comes to things. Needing to have that balance of work and the rest of your life, having that love life, having those other needs in life. Let's see, simple acts of kindness. So this person, Keanu's person that he's meant to either marry or end up with, um, not everybody gets married, but kindness energy brings happiness to those around you. And this person may be um, quite happy uh, or positive, has that energy of positivity and fun and love. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. So this person may have focus issues, maybe ADHD, or um, just when they get into a zone, they zone and forget about everything else. And it's possible this person, it doesn't give enough need to the other people in their life. 
The union of the hearts, the love connection defies explanation. Now this is going to be one of those types of loves that you just can't deny and you can't figure out why it just it is it just is <laughs> all right let's look at what their combo lessons are here do something for someone give your attention to another so possibly putting too much emphasis on other things instead of each other so let's look at the actions that are being taken here what is Keanu's actions towards his person here Let's see. We have checkered flag. <laughs> uh, completion. Settled. <laughs> there you go. The end. Finishing first. Achieving. Endings. Feeling relieved. Yeah, I feel like needing to end something here. There's Leo energy here with number nine when it comes to fruition, attainment, and fulfillment. I feel like that lying to himself and settling with that settling word there that really does tell me that he's not following his heart. Mother load, prosperity, wow, easy street, fortune. So he's had a lot of success. He is a money maker, so he can uh, easily make money. This is Virgo energy with the number one. This is opportunities and his potential. And even new beginnings here. Maybe new beginnings with his person. Maybe he'll work with his person. Let's see here. Dynamite. Yeah. Excitement, passion, and action. Yeah. Change. Somebody is going to have a blast here. A sudden and unexpected. Something fast. This is Leo energy again. There's going to be a change that happens here. Let's look at what the, he may be changing his perception about coming towards his person. What's this person's energy or actions? So somebody may be stubborn here, maybe loves to learn, has great imagination and delights in the simple things, doing what they love, liking to do what they love. There's Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius energy here with the child and then we have um, Libra here satisfaction love romance treating yourself rich smooth splurge and of course chocolate is what is on this card so this person may really like chocolate fine dining celebration elevating the mood oh and they're an emerald they're like healing energy here. They may have humility, so they're not they're not out there to step on other people to get ahead. This is somebody that likes to have a strong balance and relationship, free flowing love, a mature love, and having their heart chakras open. This is eternity type of energy. This person may be an earth sign. Taurus is showing up on here. But it is with the green, I kind of feel like it could be Capricorn or Virgo and Taurus. Maybe they have all three in their chart. Could be sun, moon, and rising as well. I kind of feel like this person is kind of exactly what's just beautiful to look at just that smooth loving energy might be uh, somebody that will keep him on his toes that will be exciting and energetic kind of fantastic <laughs> but may not take bullshit either and this is all about fruition they both have a 9 here and a 1 the other card doesn't have a number, so let's get one more card for his person so we get some numbers here. Ah, uh, resting and relaxing. So they, mo they may find each other when they go on holidays for something. Vacation here. I feel like in limbo or self-actualization here. Rest and relax. Time off. Sleep, being supportive, meditating. Just not being active at all, just inactive. They're finding relief. 
And this is Gemini energy, and I usually see twins with that, usually that twin flame energy. This is all about stability. So we have 914 and 915 here. So Keanu's is the five, his person is the four. Wow, this is beautiful. What's their combined energy? The grasshopper. Ah, yes, taking that leap of faith. This is easy going, don't worry. This is about moving forward, prosperity, a change in direction. Yeah, a birth of a son or just good luck. This is number five. This is a change. Wow. So 9155 and 9145. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the outcome is here. What is the outcome when it comes to Keanu and his Empress? They're not together yet. Yeah, somebody's just working away. It could be his person, could be him. Ah, oh, but there is love here. Number six, and that's that cooperation and harmony. There may be a message of concern about some type of change here. What is this change? Ah, oh, this, somebody's expecting an ending here. So this may be in his life. It could be in hers. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a main male here in the heart of the reading here. This could be Keanu, expecting Keanu to come forward. Maybe talking with family here about something to do with somebody's bad health. Maybe somebody's been in the hospital. Maybe it's on his side, maybe on hers. But the official person What's the official person? Tell me what the official person is about. What is the official person about? Hmm. Could be about somebody that has gotten recently divorced or in the last three years, possibly. Could be this feminine who's been divorced here. Hmm. I feel like before the divorce, this person really felt stuck or not able to move forward because of the other person. This other person may have made this feminine sick at one point. I feel like this is a message of concern about an ending. Somebody's expecting an ending, maybe with Keanu. But on the other side here, I'm kind of feeling this is the feminine's energy where talking with family about somebody that has bad health due to having to go through a divorce, having official person like a lawyer, and somebody might be in trouble or feeling stuck still because of this adjudication. What is this imprisonment about? What is this imprisonment about? This one wants to come. Mm. May have to do with money. Another ending. This possibly has to do with an ending of feeling weighed down or not able to make money. Let's, what is this? Ah, no, it had to do with marriage. It looks like somebody used their money uh, to make this person feel less than and trapped, kind of using their money um, over the other person, not giving them any money and having it where it's a you do what I say type of attitude because I have the purse strings I have the money and you've got to listen to me you can't do this you can't do that you can't do this you can't do that because I have all the money and that may be feeling in prison to this person and unable to make their own money or have to live off their own money where they don't maybe make enough to do so 
Yeah, this had to do with a divorce here. Somebody that was married to somebody here. I don't feel like it was Keanu. I feel like this is the feminine here. Yeah, this may be a mature woman, somebody that's a little older. What's the combined energy? Mm. They may end up buying a house together. She may end up with the house or possibly he ends up with the house. Perhaps Keanu and her end up buying a house. Hmm. What's their intuition telling them? Let's see what their intuition is telling them with the bottom of the deck. We'll just crack the deck. This is for his feminine. Yeah, she's healing still with the three of swords in reverse. So she may still be um, forgiving and letting go. I feel like she might be at the end of that healing cycle, kind of let go of old paradigms, old behaviors, old baggage that she may have carried from relationship to relationship. And he may want some truth here, and this may have to do with some infidelity here about cheating, wanting truth, and to communicate. Very serious about something here, maybe about this person. I'm kind of feeling, you know, as I'm looking at this, I'm I'm kind of feeling like this is all the female in this. She was working herself to death, like not good health because of this. She may be in love with this person, this main male. I don't feel like it's Keanu. She may have had concerns about things, expecting it to end, maybe some cheating here with the person she was with. She may have talked to her family about her health and maybe getting out of this marriage and I feel like this is what this is. I feel like the man, male may end up having the house. You may have bought her out of the house. What about her? Yeah, she's in despair over all of this. She may not have came out very well when it came to this marriage or divorce. Let's see. We have, yeah, I'm not picking the right cup and somebody that's satisfied. And I feel like she's satisfied now that she's had her divorce. And I feel like he may feel like he's picked the wrong cup when it came to things with this infidelity here with the magician in the up in the upside down position in the reverse and that's all about cheating so wow so he does come together with his empress but it's just not yet she may be going through a divorce or is tar starting to feel good about things now that she's been divorced maybe she has her own place now maybe that's what this house is I feel like she's heal or healing forgiving and forgetting learning how to deal with her emotions the baggage the dark night of the soul is kind of what I'm it's it sounds almost like this vibration of learning lessons knowing what they needed to learn here I feel like he is going to come around it's not going to be right away about maybe settling with somebody that isn't his empress and I feel like things will change eventually it may just it may take some time I do feel like it's going to be in the next three months though something along those lines I keep getting that a three here for this yeah Anyways, that's what I have for Keanu. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle tribe. If you'd like to donate, there is a PayPal account in the description box below that'll take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks and 
trust me I thank you and each and every one of you because I really do appreciate all that you're doing to help support the channel just watching the videos certainly helps and liking subscribing and sharing definitely help so thank you thank you and thank you stay blessed we'll see you next time later